Hello everybody and how are you doing today? So Aaron coming at you here with a long promise video comparing various afternoon teas to see which establishment provides the best value for money for afternoon tea. Now I use that word uh, or that phrase uh, specifically, value for money. So I uh, went to six afternoon teas around the world, literally. Um, my wife was at five of them. Um, and so we're going to do a bit of an evaluation of who provides the best value for money for afternoon tea. So just to let you know where we went for afternoon tea. Uh, the Prince of Wales Hotel in Waterton, Alberta, which probably a lot of people haven't heard of, but uh, if you get a chance, Waterton is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, in my view. The Empress Hotel, which is a Fairmont Hotel in Victoria, British Columbia. The McDonald Hotel in Edmonton, Alberta, which is also a Fairmont Hotel. Chateau Laurier in Ottawa, Ontario, also a Fairmont Hotel. We went to the Cauldron in Edinburgh for afternoon wizard's tea and the Ritz Hotel in London for their afternoon tea. So let's give a bit of an idea uh, of what we're gonna be looking at. So looking at the price, of course, because there is a wide disparity in prices between those six establishments. The quality of the food that was provided as part of afternoon tea and also the variety and the tea itself and the service. I would say that the service needs to come into it as well because some of the establishments had really great service. Uh, some, you know, was, was pretty average. All of them I think were pretty good, but it was, uh, uh, there were some that had impeccable service. So those are the criteria that we're gonna look at. Let's do a countdown of the best afternoon teas actually going from the least uh, value for money to the best value for money. So number six on the list, and I'm sorry to say this because I was actually expecting a lot more from this particular establishment is probably the Chateau Laurier in Ottawa. So just to give you a bit of an overview, the price of the Chateau Laurier tea was $73 a person. Now, um, that was somewhere around average, actually, I would say for the afternoon teas uh, in terms of, of price. Uh, the service was great. The fellow that served, um, uh, he was joking, he was fun. Uh, and it was he gave some uh, some good opinions about things, um, but the service was I mean it was I would say it's average above average. Um, the food was where the downfall really was at the the Chateau Laurier. First of all, there wasn't a tremendous amount of it for the amount of money uh, paid at the Chateau Laurier versus places um, an equivalent actually at the at the Chateau Chateau or at the Hotel McDonald. Um, the Wizard's Tea, even the Prince of Wales, uh, the amount of food was, was, not, was not great. The quality of the food also lacked. I would say, unfortunately, out of all six, it was the food that actually killed it for the Chateau Laurier because of the quality. Um, some of it was, was quite good, some of the desserts, but the sandwiches um, were not fantastic. Uh, they were a little dry and, and looked like they may have been done up the day before. I, I don't know for sure, I can't say. But it was um, it was a bit of a letdown. Uh, the environment was beautiful. So I was in the sunroom at the Chateau Laurier. It was a beautiful sunny day and uh, the, uh, the, you know, the view around was spectacular. Um, it being a, a Fairmont hotel, uh, I love the Fairmont teas, and so the Fairmont teas are always are always excellent. But um, <clears throat> as a whole, the Chateau Laurier was a bit of a letdown, unfortunately. So I rate it um, the worst out of the six. All right. So what comes next? Uh, the next on the list in terms of worst value for money, 
Um, although a fun experience, it, it definitely was. And um, if you're not looking for posh hoi polloi and maybe even somewhere to take the kids, etc., uh, the Cauldron in Edinburgh for their, their afternoon wizard's tea um, is a place to go. I would probably rank it higher on the list if it wasn't so expensive. So it actually was uh, 48 pounds, which came out at the time to about 73, 75 dollars Canadian. So it was about as much as it was at the Hotel McDonald and about as much as it was at the, at the Chateau Laurier. Um, the environment was cool. The service was uh, clearly the, the servers were, were very much into it and provided a great show. Um, the tea. Not so fantastic. Um, you you kind of made your own, and and uh, you know it, it 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 wasn't great. I wouldn't say that the quality of the tea was was top notch. The food was good, and there was plenty of it. That was one thing about the wizard's tea that was uh, that was very interesting is that uh, there was plenty of the food, but the quality was. I think they brought a lot of it in. I don't know that they baked a lot of it there. Some of it I think was baked was made there. Um, but a lot of it was brought in. It was, I think it was like Costco, that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, and the quality was nothing to write home about. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing super fantastic. One of the things I would say about the, the wizard tea, uh, if you are celiac, um, it is, a it's a good bang for your buck in that way because, um, they provide you as much food as, as the regular afternoon tea. Um, and the environment is fun. Like I said, it's a great place, but I, you know, in terms of the, the afternoon teas that we're reviewing here, I would say it's, uh, you know, uh, number five on the list. Number four on the list. Now, some people are going to disagree about this one. I have a sneaky suspicion. So remember, the valuation of this is value for money, meaning looking at the experience, looking at the food, looking at the tea. I would say number four on the list is the Empress Hotel. And the reason I say it is this. So the food was very good. Um, you know, it was, it, was, it was tasty. It was above average, I would say. The tea, again, is, is a Fairmont tea blend. Uh, the service was, there was a lot of people there. Um, and the, I think the wait staff were kind of buzzing around. Certainly the, the waiter that we had, as I recall, knew the food well. Um, but it was 89 bucks. So it was 90 bucks Canadian. So it was the second most expensive afternoon tea that we had. And I would say that, um, that's what, that's kind of what killed it for me at the Empress was that what you're paying there versus what you're getting compared to some of the other places that we went, um, it didn't quite work out. And so I would say that, uh, that's why I would rank the Empress as, as number four. Great environment, uh, beautiful place, historic, um, and the, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was very tasty and the tea was good, but comparing value for money, I would say it was four, uh, on the list. Okay, again, this one, uh, this is number three on the list. So I would say, and some people are going to disagree and some people are gonna be very surprised by this. So again, this is a value for money uh, valuation. The Ritz Hotel in London is iconic. It is um, considered one of the best hotel restaurants, uh, hotels for sure. Uh, but the restaurant, the food there is considered one of the best in the world. And it was an absolute privilege to be able to do afternoon tea there. Um, but at $102 Canadian uh, for afternoon tea. So first of all, the service was impeccable. You could not do better. I have never been to a restaurant with better service. And I've been to a lot of different restaurants around the world. First of all, the services, there's no fault to the wait staff at all. It was a fantastic experience. The food was good, and they also had gluten-free options for my wife, uh, but I wouldn't rate it as stellar. Um, some of the desserts were very, very tasty and artistic, absolutely. 
Um, but the food was, um, you know, in, uh, ab above average for sure, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't the best that I've ever had. To be honest, not in an afternoon tea anyway. Um, so I would say that, uh, um, you know, and the tea was good. I did not think it was quite as good as the, some of the Fairmont blends. Just me. Um, I think the Fairmont blends are actually, um, were actually superior to the tea that I had anyway at, um, at the, the Empress. Jen might disagree with that, but that was my impression. Um, would I do the experience again? Possibly, if I was in London. Uh, but for me, it was definitely a once in a lifetime thing to experience to, to have afternoon tea at the Ritz Hotel. But to be honest, um, you know, I gave it a three. Uh, it wasn't the best experience in terms of value for money. If it was a little bit less expensive, that probably would have gone up on the list. But, uh, but there it is. This one is going to surprise people. But again, uh, just remember this is a value for money. The Prince of Wales Hotel in Waterton is, um, I don't know, I, th I think it's pretty close to 100 years old, maybe a little bit older. I'm not exactly sure how old it is. Um, and it's, uh, at least it was, an independent hotel. Beautiful old school hotel um, on the, uh, the shore of Lake Waterton, which is split between the United States and Canada, uh, between Waterton uh, National Park and Glacier National Park in Montana. The scenery is magnificent. If you've never been to Waterton, it is one of the best places in the world to go, from my opinion. Banff's nice, Jasper nice is nice, but for me, Waterton is far more home and a place that I would go far more often than I would to either Banff or Jasper. The Prince of Wales Hotel afternoon tea was a surprise for me. Um, we paid, if I'm not mistaken, around third, somewhere between $35 and $40, $36, And so it was by far out of the six um, that we, six afternoon teas we went to, uh, it was the cheapest. The tea was high quality, uh, not of the quality of the Fairmont, I would say, uh, but it was definitely high quality. I had an Earl, a vanilla Earl Grey, which was, uh, which was lovely. Yeah, it did me, did me well. Um, excellent taste, uh, but you know, not quite as high quality as the Fairmont. The food is where they stole it, um, because there wasn't as much food as there was in some other places that we had afternoon tea, but the quality was second to none. It, was, it really was excellent food. The gluten-free uh, food that was available for my wife was superb. Um, she'd never really had a curry before, and, and we did a, there was a sandwich with a curry spread, and it was excellent. And so in terms of what we paid for and what we got in terms of the scenery. Oh, and the, the wait staff was good. It was average, um, typical restaurant, though I, I wouldn't rate it, uh, uh, you know, supremely high. <clears throat> Certainly not the level of the Ritz Hotel. Um, but uh, yeah, it, for value for money, for what we paid for it, yeah, this, this earns it a solid two in my book. And finally, and perhaps most uh, surprisingly, number one on the list, value for money, again, is the is their criteria. The McDonald Hotel in Edmonton is a Fairmont hotel. The afternoon tea there, uh, at least when we were there, was $75 a person. Now, what kicked the Hotel McDonald into number one? Well, so price range, in terms of what we got for the price, uh, it was far superior to what we got at the Wizard Tea. It was far superior to what we got at the Chateau Laurier. And I would actually argue that what we got at the Hotel McDonald was superior to the Ritz Hotel as well. First of all, uh, Prosecco was uh, on the menu uh, if you are and if you drink alcoholic beverages. I actually had some sort of non-alcoholic something or other. But it comes with the tea. It's not an, it's not an extra. It was actually included. So right out of the gate... Um, you're getting a nice afternoon uh, tea, a drink for afternoon tea, a champagne kind of like uh, drink with afternoon tea right out of the gate. Fairmont Hotel, uh, as I mentioned, the teas are excellent. 
And so I had a cream Earl Grey, which was probably the best tea out of all the afternoon teas that I've had, including the Ritz, including the Chateau Laurier, etc. It was very, very good. And so the tea experience, like the, the actual tea was, was excellent. The food was out of this world. First time in my life actually that I've had caviar and it came with some of the, it came on some of the sandwiches. Um, the quality of the sandwiches, the quality of the food, not to mention the quantity because the quantity was actually pretty good, but by far the quality of the food that came with the afternoon tea at the Hotel McDonald was superior to all of the other, uh, of, of, and all of the six. It came out number one, and the service was was excellent as well. Um, the the wait staff were uh, were extremely professional. They were very casual but very knowledgeable, and they looked after us. So all of that uh, to me indicates uh, if you're looking at any of those six locations and you're looking for the best value for money, um, the Hotel McDonald definitely tops the list. Uh, my wife and I both agree with that. And other people who've had afternoon tea in other locations have, have said the same. Some of the, some of the locations that I mentioned in this video. So, uh, if you're in Edmonton, uh, on the weekend, cause I believe they only have to do afternoon tea on the weekend, the Hotel McDonald is the place to go. Um, and, uh, I put it actually above the Ritz in London. Sorry, Ritz, you beautiful place, iconic, historic, but, uh, uh, in terms of value for money, it's not quite the same as the Hotel McDonald in uh, in Edmonton. Excellent service, excellent tea at the Hotel McDonald. So I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, I encourage you to check out all of these places. It was all a wonderful experience in one way or another in terms of the various pieces that brought together. Oh, and that's the other thing. The Hotel McDonald, uh, the scenery is lovely overlooking the Edmonton River Valley, especially if you do it in the summer. Uh, beautiful place to go. All right. Thanks, everybody.